A squadron of geese was migrating south when one in the ranks opened wide his mouth. And out came a sound new to their ears. It made them all laugh and reduced them to tears. When things had calmed down, they were all lost for words. For Bruce had a problem uncommon to birds. They soon worked it out. Twas the hiccups, for sure. So discussions began about finding a cure. One goose cried out, water. That's what you need. Get down to that lake and have a good feed. So down they all swooped, united as one. They'd stick by poor Bruce till his hiccups had gone. No, that's not the way, another goose cried. You must sip from a cup, but from the wrong side. Well, Bruce gave it a try, but by the tenth cup, he keeled over full and had to give up. Now, one of the flock had trained as a nurse, so she cooked up a cure before things got worse. Ugh, what a stink. The cure smelt of old fish. But poor Bruce was desperate, and he took hold of the dish. Then he spooned it all down, eating up every drop. But his hiccups got worse. They just wouldn't stop. They ran out of ideas by the end of the week, until a naughty young goose stuck a peg on his beak. They all watched and waited. Then Bruce gave a cough. His body expanded, and the peg just flew off. Had Bruce been cured? Had the young goose been clever? <gasps> no. Bruce hiccuped again, this time louder than ever. A committee was formed later that night to provide poor old Bruce with an almighty fright. A plan slowly formed, but it had to depend on the cunning and wit of their medical friend. Bruce was called forward for a medical check. His bits were examined, especially his neck. The nurse said, young Bruce, you're decidedly weighty, and you've got a condition that affects one in 80. First you get spots, then you get lumps. Your feathers turn purple and fall out in clumps. Once it has started, it cannot be stalled. I'm afraid within minutes, you'll be totally bald. Well, Bruce's jaw dropped. His heart went a clatter. This was no joke, but a serious matter. Then the nurse pointed out that since his jaw dropped, his hiccups had stopped. And there's no need to worry. She firmly insisted. The disease I described, it never existed. Then the geese burst out laughing. Then they laughed even more. They giggled and chuckled and fell on the floor. But it's a dangerous thing to laugh with such glee. And Bruce knew too well what those dangers could be. For laughing that hard does strange things to a goose. Yes. It gave them all hiccups. Well, all except Bruce. So Bruce sat back and smiled at the flock. Now they were the ones who were in for a shock. Boo! 